all of this really is just a great illusion. Great illusion. Are people affecting the world of reality that they see? What is reality? It is so mysterious they can't explain it. The real trick to life is not to be in the know, but be in the mystery. Ponder that for a while. Module 5 is now upon us. I'd like to introduce it to you briefly, as is my custom. So we move now into this fifth week, and we will continue on the subject that was talked about last week. It's called epistemology. There's enough to say about it that we have two modules on it. This module then will pick up and talk about further things in that realm of philosophy. It'll discuss some of the questions we didn't get to last time. And so, if you look then at the overview, if you look at the um, the basic, the learning outcomes, what's what's going to be happening, and of course <clears throat> the additional materials uh, where Dr. Foreman gives an introduction, well you will see up front that we're talking now about knowledge and really about the certainty versus the skepticism that we do or should have with regard to the things we know or at least think we know. It's a very postmodern way of thinking today to put forth the idea that we just hardly know anything at all, that we uh, knowledge is, is so illusory, we, we can't be sure of, of anything. In fact, people have even attempted to use certain uh, theories in science, like quantum physics, quantum mechanics, to back this postmodern idea up. Some years ago, there was this documentary-style movie done called What the Bleep Do We Know? And I'll never forget someone coming to me right after that came out and talking about how it really opened um, their eyes up, you know, and that it was just so profound. Well, if you ever have the chance to see that, or if you have seen it, um, you should think critically, pay good attention to it, because when I actually got around to seeing it, all I could help but think was, what are these people talking about? I mean, it was really a confusing mess, uh, in one reviewer's opinion. But the movie itself, what it's trying to get at, is something along these lines. Well, how can we even know anything? I mean, the world's changing all the time, and we don't have perfect knowledge, and uh, the quantum level is so crazy that maybe we just can't know. Maybe it's all a big hoax. And of course, certain Eastern teachers in the Hindu tradition like to say these sort of things sometimes, that, uh, well, you know, everything could just be a grand illusion. There's a certain prominent Hindu school of thought that actually teaches just that. This week, one of the things y you will do, besides the quiz, is this brief essay in the instructions, when you look at the instructions for the essay, you'll see that it's about this question. It's about these scenarios that have to do with a, a sort of a grand conspiracy of epistemology, sort of like things are not what they seem. This is a popular idea, been around a long time, but we have more sophisticated examples of it. Um, and so, in, our, in recent memory, in our time, maybe the best example of it on the big screen is again the Matrix, which I referenced in the earlier uh, in, a, in an introduction when we were talking about metaphysics. And this, of course, shows you how metaphysics relates to epistemology because the the metaphysics question is what is real, you know, what really is going on in the real world. The epistemology question is how do we know that? Can we know that? How would we know that? So it places the emphasis on the knower. And, and how we perceive things. Are we perceiving things the way that they really are? And of course, skepticism is bred when we start to ask that. And then how we meet the challenge could land us anywhere from certainty to total skepticism. Most of us are in, on neither one of those. We're somewhere in between because most of us probably take the common sense idea that we shouldn't be so totally naive that we believe everything. But we also shouldn't be so skeptical that we believe nothing. It's been said that in the postmodern era, we reacted so hard against the arrogance of modernism and modernity that <clears throat> that rather than accept everything that we're told and think that we can achieve certainty, we decided we can't achieve certainty about anything, ever. But the fact is, total skepticism 
is just as much a lack of critical faculties, and just as lazy in some ways, as gullibility, believing everything, or thinking we can know everything. So, our job, just in the basic sense, is to be discerners, to know what can we and what should we believe. I certainly want to know and believe and cling to everything that's true, and certainly want to also avoid everything that's false or wrong. And welcome to life, right? So then, do the essay. It's a new type of assignment. You haven't really done this yet. And again with the quiz. And enjoy just plunging yourself into this, uh, this uh, maybe, maybe to some of you weird, but I think always, you know, kind of fascinating concept uh, this week. So then, once again, keep up your good work. Stay strong. This is the fifth module, so now we've crossed over the halfway barrier. And so, may God give you the strength to keep on going. Bye-bye now. What is reality? Is perceptual reality the real reality, or is it an illusory reality? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. So you believe in these kind of things? Let's just say I want to believe.